Project CHANGE stands for Changing How Adolescents and Young Adults Network, Gain Access, and Engage in Healthcare. Project CHANGE started as a result of our first program, which was a collaboration between the DA's office, the Juvenile Probation Department, and the Harris Center's Mobile Crisis Team. And that program is for young adults aged 10 to 16 who have a misdemeanor family violence charge. And as a result of the success of that program, where we in our first year uh, had about 400 referrals and helped about 400 families uh, get connected to services in the community, uh, we applied for a system of care grant with the state and we were awarded that grant. And that system of care grant is what we call Project Change. So a client that is referred to Project Change can be referred really from anywhere in the community. And if they do qualify for the program, then we will get them connected with one of the clinicians and they will become part of this wraparound team. A youth peer specialist is somebody who works with a youth between the ages of 12 to 20.5. And I love working with youth due to the fact is I'm somebody with lived experience and dealing with some of the things that they might deal with as well. Um, and I truly believe if I would have maybe had somebody like myself, then things might have gone a little bit differently for me. They can also have like outside natural support, such as a teacher or a coach or a pastor, or even um, if they're you know, connected to their probation officer. Somebody that is there to really help them um, reach their treatment goals. I really see Emmanuel growing um, in his self-worth. He's, he's willing to put in the work, and I love that his main concern is being there for the people around him, but I keep reminding him, you have to be there for yourself. You have to be good. Your cup has to be filled so you can help fill others' cups. And um, I feel like he's really starting to take that into effect. Before I heard about this, I was just, I didn't really know what to do. Um, I didn't know what career I wanted to do or, or generally what I wanted to do in life. One day I went to the doctor and I was told about project change because they asked me what I wanted to do in life and what I struggled with. I told them I needed a job. I was working on getting in the college but I didn't know exactly how to do that, so I had to get help for that. And generally, I just didn't know what to do with my life, so they told me about Project Change and what they could do for me, and that's how I got into this. What we hope that clients get out of being in Project Change is that their lives have improved. You know, they are having better relationships with their family, they are making good grades in school, that they're learning the skills that they need in order to stay out of the hospitals, um, interact with friends and family in positive ways, finding something that they really enjoy um, and their strengths and needs that um, they're able to identify so that they can be successful in life. It's a cause and effect, seeing the direct ripples of an impact that I have on these youth really inspires me to never stop working on myself. I like that everyone's pretty nice and supportive and overall great. They ask me, they tell me to ask whatever I need help with or what I might struggle with or just anything. So they're always there to help in whatever way they can. The system of care philosophy is that when you're looking at treating a child, you're looking at being family driven and youth guided. You really want to make sure that you're including the family members, that you're including the youth, and you're also including these natural supports, and that you're looking at the individual needs of the youth and the family to really guide your treatment plan. Based on whatever time we're supposed to talk, they'll call me, they'll ask how my day is, what I did over the week. Um, how my depression levels are and whatever way I can, whatever way they can help. And uh, just what I've been doing to try and better myself. And then they'll reflect, reflect off of that and give me ideas on what to do, like writing positive affirmations or making a schedule to do certain things to help me, like working out or writing out my feelings. My hope for them in the future is that even though they have dealt with these struggles and might deal with them um, moving forward, I hope that they know that um, it doesn't define them, that 
as they get older, as they elevate themselves, um, that their destiny is not defined by, by their past and that every day is a new chance to grow, every day is a new chance to impact somebody um, and that they're not alone. I just hope that they walk away with um, wanting to do whatever their hopes and dreams and desires are and do that successfully so that way they feel ready to be an adult. I just wanted things to change and I wanted to see change in myself so I can change other people for good or at least help them. So, uh, so far it, things are going pretty well and I don't see any time soon that I'll be leaving until the time actually comes. Biggest hope is that this gets out and people see this and they become aware of the impact that youth peer specialists have and um, continue to change lives. I just want to thank all the people that are with me and help me with this journey and I'm glad that they're just here to help me um, and I appreciate their work.